Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, determine Kramer's fee for a Pearson chi-square test goodness of fit. Um, in another video I already showed how you can actually perform the chi-square uh, goodness of fit test using R or specifically R Studio. Uh, I'll be using some data as an example which I'm just going to be loading in and I'll store it under my data. And what we'll be needing is a frequency table in this case of uh, the merit so control enter to load that into the console and i will also be needing the number of rows so control enter to load that into the console so in this case there are five rows actually and uh, we need the expected proportions for each category and that's simply going to be uh, equal for all i'm assuming so that's one over the number of categories and that five categories long so proportions will be stored under prop then um, for later on also useful is the total number so um, to actually perform kramer's fee uh, i'll store that under n and then we need to actually uh, get the chi-square value which can be done by using a name and then the uh, chi-square test uh, with the frequency table I uh, don't need a correction and I want the statistic which is the chi-square value and then finally for Kramer's fee if you only want to be using uh, base it's the square root out of the chi-square value divided over n times and then uh, the number of categories minus one so I'll load that one in and then actually show V uh, which turns out to be 0 0.4011071 now if you don't want to remember this formula and this one you can actually also use a package uh, the LSR package I already installed it so we'll not be loading this line uh, I'll simply load it in so a library LSR is now loaded and then Kramer's V and then that frequency table and hopefully that gives indeed exactly the same result there's also a desk tool package uh, which also has Kramer's V um, so I already installed it so I won't be uh, using that line so if you don't have this package uh, I'll run this one and if you do have it already then you only need to load it in and then and use Kramer's V but now C and V are in capital and again the same result so that's how you can actually uh, get Kramer's V for a goodness of fit using R